back to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I am very excited again to be here today as we have another super fun project planned together. And um, I think it's, you're gonna love it. It's gonna end up looking really cute. Um, and I just really want you to enjoy creating this. So today we will be making a fabric sailboat collage basically so you are going to need some fabric scraps different pieces of fabric you'll need glue scissors cardboard um, and also the template that i provided a template for you and you're going to cut out each of these pieces for your sailboat you're going to cut them all out and then you're going to choose different fabric pieces and you're going to trace them onto each shape onto a different pattern or piece of fabric and then those will be the pieces of your sailboat so there's water the sailboat the boat part the sails um, the post there's a Sun in there if you wanted to put a Sun on it and anything else that you wanted to add to it you could add um, I've also cut a big piece I've had a big enough piece and I am going to cover my cardboard with this uh, piece of fabric now you can use construction paper to glue down on your cardboard um, or you can use fabric um, or you could just leave it plain and paint it or color on it if you wanted to um, however you wanted to create your sailboat collage but after you get all of your sailboat pieces these are, this is going to be kind of like your pattern, so to say. If somebody, um, you know, sews or whatever, they'll say they have a pattern to cut out, and then they'll trace their pattern on fabric. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to trace our patterns on some different fabric pieces. So I've chosen one that's got mostly yellow pieces in it, yellow colors for the sunshine that I traced on there. Um, I have a bluish piece that I traced the water on and um, you can use a dark a black permanent marker or something to trace this just enough so that you can see it see where you traced it um, so I did that I made one sail look kind of pink the other one I have a blue a navy blue the boat piece is I have a green one and then the the middle I don't know what you call the middle piece that's the big pole that what the sails are attached to so that piece but and I didn't have a as big as I wanted piece of cardboard so I just took a cereal box and tape together the pieces just to make it as big as I wanted to. Now you can make yours big, small, however you wanted to do. If you wanted yours to be smaller, then you could definitely um, zoom out when you print it and print a smaller scale version of it and it'll make your pieces smaller. Or you could do it larger. Or you can even draw your own sailboat pieces. Um, and this is just kind of like a guide, something that you can go by. But so, make sure that you will be able to see your pattern that you trace so that you will be able to cut it out. So we are going to, I'm going to start to cut out the pieces here. I kind of already had them traced on to save a little bit of time on the video. But if you guys need to press pause and, and stop the video for any reason at all, you can do that. And then... <clears throat> come back and press play whenever you are ready so yeah don't don't worry I don't want you to be stressed out about this or anything like that I just want you to relax and enjoy creating so and then you can even do this with any kind after you do your sailboat and you like it you might come up with other ideas um, maybe you want to do um, ocean animals or flowers or your family. You can make a collage picture of anything with different uh, pieces of fabric scraps. So any way that you want to do this will be great. 
So I am just cutting out all the pieces. And you'll notice that on your fabric, one side kind of clearly looks like the back side. The colors are kind of muted, and then there's the front side. Now some of them, it might not be as clear what's the front and what's the back. But you just want to make sure that all your colors are really showing good and that you can see all your colors on there for all the different fabric pieces that you picked out. So we will continue cutting out the pieces of our boat here. And like I said, if you wanted to use construction paper to glue it on, or if you wanted to paint your cardboard, you could do that. Um, yours does not have to be made exactly the way um, the one that I'm making on the video is. You can, you can make yours any different way that you wanted to. So feel free to get creative and everything. I hope that everyone's had a really great past week. The sun's been out a lot. I know we did have some rain one day. But um, it's, it's been nice. It's been, it's been a little hot, but I really like being outside. I would rather um, it be hot than cold, so I really like that. And the water waves here. And like I said, you can do yours anyway. And if you didn't want your water to be blue, it doesn't even have to be a blue piece of fabric. It could be any color. So I just chose a blue, something that had mostly blue in it for mine. Whenever you have completed your artwork, please, please take a picture of it and post it on social media and tag us, the Lancaster County Council of the Arts, in it um, so that we can see it. I haven't seen any artwork that anybody's posted in a while, and I know that the end of the school year gets kind of busy and everything, but if you, if you think about it and you have the chance, please do. Just snap a quick picture and post it. Um, I would love to see it, and I'm sure so many other people would too. And this is something that you could um, frame, you could hang up, you could give it to um, somebody as a gift. Like Father's Day will be here soon. If you have a, a grandpa, a dad, or an uncle or somebody that you wanted to make something for, you could definitely do that. This would be a great picture. So the sun that I have here is my last piece that I have to cut out. And for your glue, you can either use liquid glue or stick glue. It's just whatever you like the best. And I cut my background piece that I'm going to cover my cardboard with bigger than the cardboard itself so I can kind of wrap the edges over. So yes, I'll put some glue on here. I'm going to use a little bit, I'm going to use liquid glue for the background piece especially. So I'll put glue all over it and then if you wanted to glue down your construction paper or if you wanted to have it painted, you can Go ahead and get your background ready the way that you want it to be. And just kind of smooth it out. And yes, if you're using liquid glue and everything, when you get ready to smooth it out, you will, the glue will kind of seep through the fabric a little bit, but it will be okay. You can wash your hands when you're finished and it will be just fine. So I'm going to take the back what's hanging out and I'm just going to fold it over and glue it down over the edges. And then all of my cardboard piece will be covered up. It doesn't have to be covered up but I'd like to have all of mine covered. 
I'm just going to glue that down. There we go. And this piece is, this side's really short, so it's going to have a little bit of a hard time staying down. But if you have clothes pegs or little clamps or anything, which normally I do, but I don't seem to have any. Oh, I do. Here's one. You can get clothes pegs and fold it if you happen to be folding over the edge and it doesn't quite stay very well. Just hold it in place with the clothes peg until that dries. And, um... But there you go. So get your background ready that you're going to glue all of your sailboat pieces on. So that's the first thing that needs to be ready. Then we're going to start laying it out. So I think I'm going to do mine more kind of standing up. You can do it um, horizontally or vertically, however you wanted to. But I think I'm going to do mine kind of vertical. So I will... I'm going to glue the boat piece down here, the part that you'd be sitting in if you were riding in a sailboat or taking a, a sail in a sailboat. Oh, how many of you have ever been on a sailboat? I have never been. Um, I feel like it would be extremely fun. Um, I would probably be a little bit scared at first. But I feel like it would be a lot of fun. So if you have been on a sailboat and you really like it, or even if you don't like it, post a comment below the video. And so let me know if you've been in a sailboat before and what you think about it. All right, so the boat piece is on. Now I'm going to do the, the middle post. Glue it down. And I'm going to have mine coming all the way down um, and touching the, the bottom boat piece down here. Where it kind of looks like it could be inside the boat here. I'm just going to make it kind of meet up. And you'll have little pieces, little lint and threads and strings from the fabric. But with it, you gluing it, it'll kind of keep it from unraveling even more. So the glue will help things stay in place and help make sure that the fabric doesn't come unraveled and get kind of um, tattered on the edges there. So I have got the boat and the middle post. Now I am going to glue on the water waves. So I'm going to kind of have that overlapping my boat piece a little bit and just kind of have that overlapping there like that. Yes, and I think this is really fun. And like I said, you could end up doing this with make a, you know, fabric collage of anything, um, not just a sailboat. So, or, and if you decide to do another fabric collage other than the sailboat, take a picture of it too and um, post it on social media and share it with us so that we can see that as well. I, I just, you can get as creative as you want to with this. So I'll glue on the large sail that I have. I'll choose that one next. I would say the order doesn't really matter what order you glue them down in, as long as I would just say the boat piece first, if you wanted your water to overlap it. So, and then we'll get this glued down. I'm going to line that up at the very top of the post. Have that coming down. And then I'll get the small sail. And I'm going to bring it a little lower. I think I'm going to make the bottoms match up on my sailboat here. But you don't have to. You could have yours up in the middle. You could do it any way you wanted to. 
But yeah, I just, I had mine where the bottom pieces are kind of matching up. Pieces there. And then the sunshine I will glue on. You might could also cut out a bird if you wanted to. Or if you wanted it at nighttime, a moon and stars you could do. But there we go. And then when this side dries down, then I'm going to glue down the top pieces so it'll be all kind of neat. And then like I said, you are more than welcome to, you can frame this and hang it up or give it to somebody. Um, I'm sure that they would love it uh, and everything. But I hope that you have enjoyed this and that you just love just creating and everything. So next week we will come together and create a tin foil print. So um, I know we used tin foil not too long ago. We're going to use it again. Something that's easy you should have in your home um, that you would like wrap food up with. So you'll need some tin foil. You will need paint. You'll need um, colored construction paper, a paintbrush, some Q-tips, and uh, some paint colors as well. So I look forward to next week as we come together and create our aluminum foil print. I'll see you then. Thanks.